last week's game. Uh, obviously, it didn't turn out the way we would have hoped. You can't play the way we played on the road and have a chance to win, especially against good football teams. We made way too many mistakes. Coaching and playing. Turnovers, mistakes in the kicking game, and uh, we gave up nine points on offense with an interception return and a safety, and uh, we were still in the game. It goes to show you we got 19 points behind. We made, started making some good plays on both sides, started playing as, as a team, but we didn't play as a team for about two and a half quarters. I'd say about a quarter and a half we looked like a football team that we should look like. So that being said, we got still got a lot of work to do, obviously, but we can't keep make, making those mistakes, giving points away. It kind of reminded me a lot of the Temple game at the beginning of the year. We got behind because of mistakes, then we caught back up, and then we just couldn't finish it off at the end. Very similar to Temple. But that one was at home in the first conference of the year. So uh, uh, we've got a lot to work on. Got another good team coming in this week that's very hungry to go to a bowl game. And they've got five wins. And uh, they'll come in and with one of the, I guess, close to the top 10 offense. They've played very well. They've got a good quarterback, very good receivers. Uh, run the football well. They're pretty balanced. Defensively, they're very similar to what we do in four man front. Play a lot of zone, play some man. But uh, just watching them play, they have really, they really have competed in some games that we have, and have lost some of those. You know, one being the Memphis that played, uh, played their hearts out, scored a lot of points, uh, but just couldn't outscore them. And uh, so very similar to us. So that being said, we've got uh, senior week this week. We've got close to two dozen guys that are scholarship, non-scholarship that will be uh, honored uh, in pregame, right before kickoff somewhere around 720. And uh, it's a big honor for a senior to have gone through what they go through in college, get their degree, and then also playing four or five years of college football. That's a, that's a job within itself. So very proud of the seniors and, and uh, hate to see those guys go. This is their last time to play at the Nipper Stadium. So hopefully we can play one of our better games for them, if nobody else, and, uh, and uh, show what, what kind of team that we could play like if we play one of our best games. So that uh, should be a big week. We'll have uh, several things that we'll do with our seniors this week, as we always do, to kind of honor them in front of their teammates and let the teammates see what they've got to look forward to. Because in just a few weeks, these seniors will be finished playing organized football. And last time they'll put on a helmet competitively and uh, really be on any type of team sport. So it's really a sad deal. I've seen a lot of graduating classes come and go. And see so many of them come back and wish they, you know, wish they had another year or whatever. But uh, uh, it all seems to go so fast. And, and uh, but you build a lot of memories with these kids, win in and losing, and see kids grow up. And so really proud of these seniors. Questions? You mentioned Tulsa's offense, which obviously is good, but their defense, they're, they're allowing 519 yards a game. Yeah. We got to be pretty close to the same thing. In this league, not 519. <laughs> well, not 519, but in this league, you're going to give up yards. I mean, you're going to give up yards. The, the, uh, we knew that uh, uh, Houston was going to have a good football team. We actually played good on defense last week. Uh, we got a little bit beat up, uh, as I understand that Houston did. Uh, they got a little bit beat up, very physical game. Uh, but I thought both defenses played, played fairly well last week. You're going to give up yards. Thing that you hope to do is force the other team to make mistakes and keep them out of the end zone more than you. I mean, it's that's what football has become. Uh, but very similar uh, defense to ours in terms of how they play it, how they manage a game, knowing that you're going to give up some yards. Just hope that uh, your offense can not give up points but score points. And uh, but uh, you know they're obviously they they played some pretty good teams as we have and given up a lot of a lot of big numbers. How disappointing is this season <coughs> the way it's turned out so far? You know, it, it's hard. You know, it's hard to know we coming into the season, this was our chance to have one of our better teams. Uh, but I knew going into the season going to be much more competitive. We won nine the last two years each year. We won seven in a row last year. But I knew this, a lot of underclassmen on that uh, last year and the teams that were playing, some very good teams that have up their game. And 
and I knew going into the year we were going there was not there's not a touchdown difference between most teams. So we have been our own worst enemy, and that's what's disappointing that that uh, we have given up so many points uh, on turnovers. I think we're 117th in turnover, and uh, you're I don't care how good you are. I mean, you're not going to win a lot of games, especially close games when you're giving balls up. Last week we fumbled one in the end zone, we punter dropped the ball in the wet weather. Uh, and that's one thing I'd like to say we didn't. We, we have handled the weather a lot better in other games, and we've had some weather games this year. We've handled the games a lot better in the weather. We didn't handle that one very well. I mean, we act like the ball was slippery. Uh, you know, Houston didn't have that much of a problem. Obviously, we threw the ball pretty well and made some plays. But uh, we gave up 14 points uh, on those two, uh, on the fumble in, in, in the end zone, and then obviously the fumble on around the 20 yard line. Uh, you know, we just we, we just lost our focus. But they had they have won games this year on turnovers, and we have not done that. We have not forced turnovers enough uh, to even it up. So uh, yeah, it's disappointing, way disappointing where we're at five and four. Uh, it's hard to accept. Uh, all of them. You, know, you know that some of them that, that we played, they came down to the end. And you would think out of several of these games, we would have been able to to make up that difference. Maybe not all of them, but, but several of the ones that we played. Uh, we haven't lost to bad teams. We've just been, we've self-destructed, and that's hard. That's harder to do than knowing you just got whipped when you go out there. And uh, we've not been whipped this year. We we've actually put ourselves in a situation, but not able to finish and close. And uh, uh, as coaches, that's what you do. You look for reasons and why. And, and <coughs> it all starts with, with turnovers. You can't go into a game like that, especially on the road against a team that's on a run, and give up safeties, interception returns, fumble in the end zone, end zone and uh, and make those penalties. You know, we had four or five personal foul penalties, me being one of them. Uh, you can't do that. You can't give up that many yardage on penalties. We had two third down situations where, where, where we had a rough in the pass or we get off the field and it's over. We dropped two interceptions right to us. I mean, other teams catch those. And so we have not been very opportunistic in, in, uh, tr in flipping the coin in terms of uh, mistakes. And that's basically the bottom line of the season. Uh, mistakes that we could have uh, taken advantage of, we didn't and the other team has. How much of that disappointment or frustration do you sense in the players? Are they, at this point, is it difficult to motivate them to finish the season? Well, you know, you, you leave your, your seniors, you have to have seniors that want to go out the right way. Um, last year, uh, we had a good group of seniors. This year, we got a good group of seniors. And uh, we were down and out early in the year last year, if you remember that. We were we were knocked down pretty, pretty good, and then we, we were able to make plays in, in the tough games, such as Houston last year. We made the plays uh, in that game. They didn't make them against us. We are able to win that game at the end of the year. East Carolina the same way. They kicked a 47-yard field goal. So there hadn't been a lot of difference. It's just we have we have not made the plays, but uh, it hadn't been because of lack of leadership for the, for the seniors because they're the guys that you want to go out the right way. The rest of these guys sitting behind them in this room are going to get that opportunity to be in their chair one day. So, Hopefully they learn from that. We every Sunday and every Tuesday, you know, we talk seniors. We seniors talk. They get up and visit with players. This will be a big week, as I said earlier, because this is the <coughs> last home game. Uh, they want to go out the right way. You know, the season is not a you know total loss. Obviously, we're not going to be in the championship game, which is your number one goal. But uh, there is still a lot to be accomplished, and these players understand that because, as I said. In a few weeks, they're done. And so they want to have the remembrance of their last year being a more success than, it, than anything else. What do you find the balance between, you know, the conference I think has played better than most people have predicted at the beginning of the year, but for you guys, for lack of a better term, it's kind of been, I mean, it's a rough schedule. I mean, on one hand, you got to be happy the conference is doing so well, but it's hurting at the same time. Yeah, well, as I, I told everybody, picked us to win it, and, uh, and I've always said there's not a between three fourths of the teams in our league, there's not a touchdown difference. So it all comes down to the fourth quarter, comes down to the stakes. Who's got the best focus? 
and it's frustrating. You know, we had a chance in Memphis. We had a chance in Temple at the end. After getting behind, we had a chance against Houston. And all three of those. And if you look at the BYU, even though they're non-conference on the road, a good football team that uh, is probably going to win 80, maybe 90% of their games, is, uh, you know, we had a, a lead going into the last 12 minutes of the game. So uh, you always look for reasons as a coach. We hadn't been a good finisher. We hadn't kept our focus for four quarters. There's some somewhere in the in the game that we've just basically given points away or not scored the ones that we should have. Last year we did that. We were more opportunistic and we were able to capitalize on mistakes. We have not been a capitalizing team this year. And uh, you know those things throughout the year. You know sometimes they even out. They had even out this year. Uh, not for us. I mean, just continue to, you know, make the mistake to help the other team out, to motivate them, which we really and truly did the other day. The, the first seven minutes that third quarter, you know, that thing was getting away from us quick. And we got behind 19 points. And then we come back and scored two touchdowns and two two two-point plays and then had the ball at the end. And, uh, you know, we uh, Gunner made some good throws. We just, we didn't, uh, they weren't quite as precise that we normally have. So I thought we were going to win the game. I, I, I never thought we would lose that game uh, all the way down to the end. But we're good enough to give ourselves a chance. We haven't been good enough to get over the, get over the hump. What is uh, Johnny Holton's status? He got, he's had a hamstring all year long, in and out. Uh, he felt it get tight and start pulling a little bit. And that's the guy probably would have caught him anyway. But he started to pull up. and. Uh, we, we MRI his his leg about every two or three weeks, and you know he was probably 90 percent last week. He's probably knocked down to 80 percent now. Hopefully, get back to 90 this week. He wants to play. This is his last year. Uh, we're not going to put him in harm's way. Mostly, it's just pain. Is it going to get any worse? Uh, the doctor said probably not. Uh, but we we keep an eye on him. He's a competitor, and you know he wants to play. And he wants to be on everything. It, Hurt us a little bit, him getting hurt at the Memphis game. It was an MCL on a kickoff return, and uh, that slowed him down for three or four weeks, and now the hamstrings got him. It's just been a tough year for him. Uh, and he has not had injury problems up to this point. Anything else? 